personage no less august than Mark Twain said, no man's life, liberty, or property are safe while the legislature is in session. Well, the next New Hampshire legislative session will commence with the new year. And today, December 8, 2007, the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance gathers at the Hookset Library to take another step in girding for the onslaught. Today is this session's first NHLA bill review training session, where budding bill reviewers and grizzled veterans alike are given the tools to, well, let's find an expert, shall we? Second section will be kind of administrative. I just want to make sure that everyone has a login. Everyone can log in. The system is working for people. Just the technical details got to work. So who are you and what's going on today? Well, my name is Dennis Goddard. I presently serve as Director of Research at New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Today we've got a fresh crop of new people who uh, want to help us read, review, triage the legislation that comes before the New Hampshire legislature. So we're going to, we have a pretty cool computer system set up. It's set up over the uh, system of tubes known as the internet. People, wherever they are, can actually help us read the bills, score them according to a standardized, fairly libertarian series of criteria. And this is, helps us so much. This way we know what are the big bad bills that need to be opposed, what are the bills that we really need to help get through the legislature, and that kind of intelligence is worth gold when it comes to political jujitsu. I don't want to beat a horse too dead. Does anyone here feel like they have a really solid grasp how a bill becomes a law in the state of New Hampshire? <laughs> I know you got to read your hand. You got to read your hand. Opposed with limited resources that we got, we can oppose this realistically. People would just love to see it at the federal level, right? It it really is the case that every bill must have public hearing where anybody, anybody can come and say their piece twice, once in each chamber, okay? Unless, of course, it gets killed in one chamber or the other, and then the second one yeah. half. Right. Twice, you get that public hearing. Right. Oh, wow. That includes the Senate. Bill comes before the Senate. The senators on that committee are listening to you. And one of the key things that the Liberty Alliance does, it's not so much bill review, but one of the key things that we do is train people in how to give that testimony in a way that's actually going to get the result you want. Two or three people on the fence, you pretty much, with swaying those few indecided votes, will determine the outcome of this legislation. If one of the representatives, and any representative can put forward a bill. You have to wait until they'll be printed in the calendar, but that only comes out, could be, what is it, three day notice? before the bill could be heard on the floor, which doesn't really give you much time to analyze and react to, to what they're doing. So the committees mean a little less in the Senate, but if it's one of these issues that is kind of divided and there's a lot of could go either way, like, for example, the seatbelt thing, the committee recommendation means a lot. I know we were getting like a mortgage bill. And there's nothing like and The purpose really is for the triage, to know like, right. are these 50 bills, which ones do I need to look at? is if you're following one committee, you will start to understand the legislation that that committee is looking at. Whereas if you just pick things like all over the place, it, it, it's very random. I mean, you can't start off as an encyclopedic knowledge of the statutes of the state of New Hampshire. If you focus on one committee, you'll get an idea about the laws that that committee typically deals with. But then you see the committee list. If you click that, you'll drop down and you see all of the committees, House and Senate. Pick something in the House. Don't worry about the Senate for now. As Don Gorman has said, the Senate is a terrorist organization. We don't want to worry about them yet. And, you know, pretty much in your head, pick one that you're going to commit to. There are a few machines. John Bender is a bill reviewing machine. I forget how, I know you won the competition last session. You got like, I don't know how, it was like 100, 200, it was insane. You know? I can look it up. I can look it he up. He was grabbing them before I could get my bill. It's like... I just had a quick question. What does that FN mean? Financial note. Uh, thank you for, I, I mm. should mention this earlier. Um, if legislative services, which is an independent arm of the, of the state, believes that a proposed law will have uh, an impact financially, yeah. they'll write up a little impact statement and they'll tag the bill with a dash FN, meaning financial note. Fiscal. Fiscal note, sorry. 
And then at the bottom of the bill, you will see a fiscal note where they'll have tried to calculate the cost or revenue resulting from the bill. And typically, you, you know, the first time I heard this, I thought, okay, that's where all the school doggery happens. Typically, they're actually pretty objective. You're making a stab at it. And this one, I wouldn't say like, oh, this is, you know, we all know, right, the impact of this bill is not high. Is that good, everyone? This is not like a call out on the stops, take off of work and like oppose this bill. No. And I think it's fair to say that most, if not the super majority, of the board of directors of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance are not anarchists. Okay. I think the number may be just one. I'm not sure. Are you an anarchist? I'm not saying that with the camera on me. All right. <laughs> Set up. Well, actually, if a roll call, you need 10 reps to second the motion for a roll call. Because uh, it takes extra time, you know, if voice vote, boom, it's over. Roll call, they've got to close the doors. The sergeant arms goes screaming roll down the hallway. She's got this booming voice you can hear through the whole state house. And everybody has to come in, they lock the doors, or, or she, stands, go, she stands guard at the door so no one can leave, and, and they take the vote. So it's more time consuming. They don't want to do it on every bill, but we've got to make sure it's done on the bills that are important that we're going to need. One of the last times I'm going to apologize for this session, it's not done yet. <laughs> When all the bills are uploaded from the 2008 list of bills, we'll have them right there on our front page. And anyone who is an NHLA member can just say, ooh, this is important to me, this is important to me, this is important to me, and just check this is interesting. Okay? Anything that, they have, uh, that our members have flagged as interesting, we at least know we might want to take a closer look at. But one thing that I've certainly learned in the two years that I've been engaged in this process, it is that we have disproportionate impact because of physical bodies in the state house. This is where an ordinary person winds up having so much more impact sometimes than an elected representative. And the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance has a fantastic brand recognition in the state house because of people like John and Dawn, Kathleen, Don, Carol, people who are, because of their situation, whatever, able to show up at the state house and just engage these people on a personal level. They know that the Liberty Alliance is there. If you're going to go to the state house, let us know first because it's great if we can give you a pin. Right? They know that pin. They know that pin. We started off being like the five people that Don brought to the house, and you know, now it's people show up with a pin, and it's like we're another political party. Um, if you can swing it, show up at the state house. Now, if you can't swing it, that is no, there's no That's part of our job. Mm -hmm. you know, if, if you have a question about a bill, call up your rep, call up a rep whom you know is on the same side of the battle as you are, and say, I saw this. Can you explain it to me? What? Why, are you, why is anybody wanting to do this? Mm -hmm. that's, that's part of why we're there. Flowing out, and they couldn't fit us all in the room, and the senators are sitting there like, you know, it's going to make a difference with that seat. With your NHLA pin, or a lot of times we make up stickers that say, you know, if it's real ID with a red line through it type of thing, that speaks volumes in and of itself. We don't expect everybody to want to get up there and testify. These are the things that if you literally take this and check off the list, by the time you've checked everything off in this list, you will have more influence in what legislation happens or doesn't happen than most elected representatives. Yeah. I would assume that it was the vision of the founders of New Hampshire that the people would never relinquish control. Mm -hmm. If you read the way the New Hampshire Constitution is written, the people are the sovereigns of the state. What's that mean? They're the rulers. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance needs your help in understanding what the New Hampshire legislature is up to, even if you're geographically challenged. Contact research at nhliberty.org. Join the battle, won't you? Because freedom matters.